I'm Ben Board and you're watching a Proteus Elite tutorial. This tutorial will cover the steps necessary to configure the border gateway protocol in order to accomplish basic route exchange internally within a network or autonomous system. IBGP is used between routers within a network to communicate reachability information about routes outside of the network. You can technically accomplish this with the IS to IS and OSPF protocols, but I won't go into why that's a bad idea and poor network management. I recommend Junos for Enterprise Routing by our very own Doug Marshke and Peter Southwick for information on that topic. In order for IBGP to work best, routers should peer to each other's loopback addresses. Loopback peering helps keep route exchanges up when physical interfaces within the network go down. Today's tutorial is a four router lab connected in a series. We will be working on the two routers at opposite ends of the series. Let's first start by verifying loopback reachability from one router to the other. On router 1, we show the configuration for the OSPF and loopback interfaces. We see that GIGE001 has an IP address of 1.1.1.1. And we see that the loopback address on router 1 is 10.1.1.1. Now on router 2, we will verify the same. We see that the GIGI interface has an address of 2.2.2.1. and the loopback interface has an address of 10.2.2.2. Next, we will verify the OSPF configuration on router 1. And we see that both the GIGI interface and loopback interface are in area 0 in OSPF. And on router 2, we show the same thing. Both the GIGI interface and the loopback interface are in area 0 in OSPF. So now on router 1, we will show our OSPF neighbors. We have one neighbor on that one GIGI interface. And on router 2, we have one neighbor on its GIGI interface. So now let's verify that we see routes in OSPF. And on router 2, we see the subnet for router 1 on the GIGI interface, the 1.1.1. We see a 3.3 address for the other two routers. And we see the loopback address for router 1, which is 10.1.1.1. And on router 1, we show the same thing. And we see router 2's subnet of 2.2.2 slash 30. And we see the 3.3.3 subnet for the routers in between. And we see router 2's loopback 10.2.2.2. So now that we have a route on each router, let's verify that we can ping the loopback addresses from one router to the other. And from router 1 to router 2 we can ping. And from router 2 to router 1 we can ping. Now that we have verified reachability to each of the loopbacks we can configure IBGP. On router 1 we will configure our autonomous system and our IBGP neighbor. Since this is IBGP, we need to specify our local address as the loopback address and peer to router 2's loopback address. So we edit configure mode. We set the autonomous system.
now we set up a BGP group. And we set it to an internal type for IBGP. And now we set the local address to our own loopback address. And now we set up a neighbor. Let's verify our configuration. We have one BGP group. It's an internal BGP. We've set our local address to our loopback and we are peering with router 2's loopback address. We can commit this. And now let's move over to router 2 and configure it's BGP peer with router 1. And on router 2 we will do the same thing. We configure the autonomous system, we configure internal BGP, we configure our local address and our neighbor. Here we set the neighbor to router 1's loopback address. And we set up our local address. Let's verify the config. We have one BGP group. It's an internal BGP peer. We've set our local address to our loopback, and we've set the peer to router 1's loopback. We can commit this. So now that we've committed it, let's go to router 1 and verify that BGP has come up. We see that we have one peer. That peer is router 2. We see that we've exchanged three packets, and we see that we have zero routes received and zero routes active from router 2. And in router 2, we will show BGP summary. And we see we have a peer with router 1, and we've exchanged three and four packets, and we don't have any routes. So now that IBGP is up, let's inject a few routes. On router 1, let's add a few static routes and export them to IBGP. I'm going to add just a random private network. Let's add two just for fun. And I actually made a mistake. That should not be a 16.16.1. .16 so let's delete that and add the right route. How about that? There we go. So now let's show our routes. We've got two static routes. So now let's create a policy to export them to BGP. 
set policy options, policy statement, and let's name it static to BGP. Term one from protocol static. And now we need to accept these routes. So term one, then accept. And now let's export these routes into BGP using this policy. Let's verify our configuration. We've created two static routes. We are exporting a <coughs> BGP static to BGP policy inside of our group and the policy says any static route let's accept it so both of those two static routes will be accepted so we can commit this and wait for it to commit and once it commits we will go over to router 2 and verify that these routes are in router 2 we see that we have two routes in BGP and we are getting them from 10.1.1.1 and we can do a show BGP summary to see the count of those routes and we have two routes from 10.1.1.1 and that's all there is to configure for basic BGP peer in Junos OS thanks for watching and stay tuned to Proteus Elite tutorials for more BGP tutorials